Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and on Thursday, the Season 13 trailer released where they showed off a bunch of skins, where they also revealed that Kriko's getting four new skins, which is crazy, but at the end of the trailer, they also tease the Season 14 hero, or what everyone is assuming is the Season 14 hero. Now in the teaser, they didn't really give us much, they just showed off the spawn room of Oasis, panned over to a bunch of graffiti and spray paint that had the word freaks written on it, and a voice line that says, It's looking like a revolution. Saying it's looking like a revolution in a Scottish accent. Scotland! So clearly from all that, we could easily make an eight minute video. Now, obviously we're not just gonna be talking about this teaser. We will talk about what I can pull from this, but I also want to spend some time talking about what I want from the season 14 hero. But when you actually look at the teaser trailer, which again, it's not really much. The main focus here is obviously the word freaks written in graffiti. Now, what a lot of people have uh, kind of assumed is that the hero's name is gonna be called freaks and a big reason reason for this is because a long time ago, well before Overwatch 1 even released, there was a bunch of hero concepts that actually show off heroes that were later released to be actual heroes, Echo being one of them, where one of these heroes is called Freak, just without the S, just a singular Freak. <laughs> now there's not really much known about the character Freak other than three possible abilities, which includes Cannon, <laughs> Stomp, and Attract, a very interesting lineup of abilities. I mean with an ability Ability called attract you really wouldn't think that it would be for a character that looks like they just got back from a Linkin Park concert that's inside of a Tony Hawk Pro Skater game but I mean who am I to judge when I quite literally look like this but I mean to be fair these are just kind of generic abilities that you can attach to any single character that you're just trying to pitch and I'm not really trying to focus so much on the abilities but just trying to explain everything in regards of what we know which is freaks that is tied to a character that is named freak that looks like that they would belong in a gang called freaks and well this is something that not a lot of people would know about and that there's actually a gang in the overwatch universe that is called freaks just like the character freak the gang freaks is not really well known because there's not much information out there mainly just a single screenshot of what looks to be a revolution taking place on paris hey wait a minute the way that freaks connects to this single screenshot is on the back of the character's jacket on the right you can kind of see the P H R E. the rest of so the word is cut off but we can safely assume that says freaks because it's in the similar font and it's on a leather spike jacket something that you would find on like a motorcycle gang or a revolution gang and once you start to piece all these little things together you at least get a general idea of what the season 14 hero is gonna be but there's one other thing that we also got to talk about which is a leak that comes from blizzard themselves because when they were showing off adventure at blizzcon 2023 Three, they had a screenshot of the main menu which showed off Juno which was codenamed Space Ranger but more importantly this unreleased tank character in between Sigma and Winston that has a similar color scheme as the character freak green and black that well looks like a freak and if Space Ranger is in the support slot and then later released as a support hero then we can safely assume that the season 14 hero is gonna be a tank character and if based on this analysis isn't enough for you then just based on the idea that they already released a DPS hero and then a support hero a tank hero is kind of due even though they don't do that same thing with mythic skins anymore with heroes they usually release a tank and a DPS and a support three times during the year and so far that's all that we know about the season 14 hero and knowing all of that here's what my guess is gonna be as terms of the season 14 hero I think the playable season 14 character is gonna be part of the gang called freaks and the reason why they call themselves the freaks is because people call them freaks because they are gonna probably be half human and half omnic and if you remember anything about the overwatch universe you would remember that it's a constant struggle to see omnics as equals as humans like we literally have spokespeople in the form of mandata that are advocating for the equality of omnics and in parts of london omnics are literally marrying humans uh, but then you go to a place like new junk city where the junker queen Queen rules over the land and kicks every Omnic out. In fact, she even wears the Omnics as armor. That's how much they hate the Omnics. So there's this ongoing struggle with Omnics and humans, but what happens if somebody is half Omnic and half human? Well, they won't know what to refer them as, so they probably just resort to calling them something like a freak. So those same people are probably got outcasted by the society that they live in so much so that they had to find others just like them, and they probably created a family or a gang 
king and took the name that was used against them to try to empower them, in this case, freaks. But they see fighting peacefully isn't working, Ooh. so they have to resort to violence, in this case, a revolution. And the leader that is starting this revolution, I think is gonna be the playable season 14 tank character that goes by the name of, well, uh, at this point it could be any name because the word freaks is the name of the gang, but if you really wanna be conceited, the leader of the freaks gang can also just be named freak at this point. <laughs> so maybe the season 14 character named the gang freaks because his name is freak. I, I don't know. Now, in terms of the voice line having a Scottish accent, I do think that this character is going to be from Scotland, but I don't think the Freaks gang is all going to be from Scotland. Like I said, I think this is going to be a collection of half human and half Omnics. I just think the main character was from Scotland and then eventually either created the Freaks gang or joined the Freaks gang. But I do think it's, it's looking, looking like, like a, revolution. a revolution is either going to be the default voice line or just one of the voice lines that they use when they actually release in game. But what can we expect? expect from this character's abilities and hero kit. While a lot of people will point, oh, well, they're gonna have a cannon for an arm and a stomp ability. Those are very generic, lame abilities. A trat? That would be very interesting. I don't know if they would just take a book from Pokemon and if they have the opposite gender that they just don't attack the free character. That would be interesting to see, actually. I would want to see that. No longer are we countering based on the hero kit, but rather what we are attracted to in a human or an Omnic or both, but I do think that this is gonna be a character that uses some sort of crystals as their ability, because when we look at the spawn room, it's completely tattered and shattered, and also scattered with crystals. Also, do you like that rhyme scheme that I just used? <laughs> now, surprisingly, we really haven't seen any character use crystals or stones in their hero kit, besides like Venture and their rock obsession, <laughs> but I think this would be a really cool opportunity to incorporate crystals in the hero kits, but as terms of how they would work. I don't know if this would be their ultimate or their ability, but how the crystals would actually be incorporated, I think this would be really cool if they were just to be brought up from the ground and used sort of like as obstacles, like a May wall pillar of some sort, but just scatter out throughout the whole entire map. So that'd be a little bit harder to like back up and try to escape the fight. And after a couple of seconds, those crystals explode and do AOE damage. I think that would function more as an ultimate ability, but in terms of a primary weapon and and even just a regular ability, I can't really say much about what the hero is actually gonna do. It would be nice to have a passive light tank similar to Sigma, who's just a lot more slower and not really somebody that controls the fight often, like how Mauga used to do way back in the beginning of season eight. But I mean, do you really think a character that has a part of the game called Freaks that uses crystals and looks like an NPC character from Tony Hawk Pro Skater is gonna be a passive tank? No, they're gonna go and be aggressive and get into the fight. I highly doubt that they're gonna use a shield and if they do it's definitely not gonna be for the protection of their team I could definitely see this character functioning similar to Roadhog if they had a soldier 76 assault rifle because well They are starting a revolution and we don't really see a lot of tanks with assault rifle guns We also don't see a lot of guns in general in overwatch So it'd be nice to see a tank character using a normal gun for once that isn't just like a gatling gun that Mauga uses But maybe you have a different idea for the season 4 14 character. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see, whether it's from the primary affair, the ultimate, even when it comes to the lore story. And until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come and bye.